Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you remember from last week's video, that was the PTA update video. And so this week will be the ST update video. <clears throat> Got some stuff laid out today this morning. And uh, let me show you what we're gonna work with today. So, let's get up in there. The door actually lock, nice. And uh, yeah, so this is what it's gonna be. Got ourselves a bit of a dirty tractor. Got a lot of cleaning out to do. This one has a ton of turn in it. Uh, there's a bird's nest in that, so I'm gonna take that off. And there's a wasp nest behind it too. Uh, yeah, it's not so much different. This should be easier than the PTA. The PTA had a lot of other stuff and there was more surface area because you have to get back there and stuff. So this actually looks quite easy. And uh, yeah, I just noticed from the smell and what I see back there is that there's a lot of turd. We're gonna have so much fun. Oh yeah, and if you haven't noticed already, we took the seat out already, and that's going to be reupholstered soon. The tractor's absolutely filthy, unlike that one. When I, when I came out here to, and I, I looked out the window, I looked at that PT and I was like, damn, it looks like it doesn't even have any glass in it. So I'm actually super happy. I'm super happy how that tractor turned out. This one's going to be quite similar. It just is hard to get in here because it smells absolutely awful. It smells just like rat turd because that's what's in here. But anyways, enough talking. Let me get to clearing this thing out and I'll get the vacuum, clean all the turds and yeah. It's crazy how there's, there's leaves in that. And then uh, I just want to show you the spot, the worst spot on the tractor where it gets so much turd is that little cubby thing there. That has so much turd, it's probably filled to the top. Cause look at look at look, look at the green stuff there. But anyway, that's enough talking. I'm gonna get to work here. Take some panels off, start sanding stuff, start vacuuming, and I'll get this tractor all nice and done up. So see you then.
well guys after long weeks of work getting this cab all done up it's finally done now uh, got all the panels that are painted now and got the shifting boot on there got the nice uh, floor mat got the seat in there all the black was painted and everything just looks real nice the uh, dash is all cleaned up there I didn't get a chance to put this back on but I glued it all up and uh, yeah this can just go right back on there for now it's just gonna sit uh, yeah this tractor cleaned up looks real nice you know I don't think it turned out any better than the PTA I'll tell you that the seat is more comfortable than the PTA it's less worn out but uh, yeah definitely turned out very very well I just really do love the dash and all that turned out way better than I thought uh, yeah the, everything that got shot black looks fine and uh, PTA and uh, ST have gotten done up in the cab and now they don't really need much except external work and hydraulic hoses but uh, yeah, cleaned it up real nice. Looking at all the cats together. But yeah, anyways, this is, uh, it was kind of fun. Very tedious, but uh, got everything to, uh, got everything all done up, cleaned. So I'm happy and uh, took, a, took a long time. I'll tell you that, very tedious but it was well worth it. Anyway guys, not much to say here. Got the cab done and I'm really happy. That's two tractors with two good cabs, very clean and um, yeah. Just gotta get a cab kit for it once we figure out what we're gonna do for the AC, if we're gonna cut a hole in the roof and put a top mount like on the, uh, the Cougar there. Might have to uh, put that top mount and get a system like that for these two. So, yeah. Stay tuned guys, we're gonna get the rest of this tractor restored and uh, it's gonna be amazing. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace out guys. Before I end the video, I just wanna do a quick little montage before and after to show absolutely how filthy that cab was before we, we worked on it and how disgusting it was. And, you know how cool it is now that it's all done up and looks good and clean so yeah insert a before and after montage clip right now Just before I wrap out guys, I just want to bring this to attention, but this floor mat is a little bit too thick for our screws. So ignore this. We're going to get longer screws and then we're going to screw this in. Uh, don't worry. That, that'll be, that'll be dealt with. 
But um, I just want to compare, show you guys these um, the shifting boot. Here we've got uh, a Halloween decoration. So that junker is supposed to be that. But as you can see, yeah, the rat took a big chunk out of it. And uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is a Kenworth Freightliner Western Star truck boot shifter. And uh, this is just something that I really love about Steiger is they built their stuff with mostly easy to find truck parts. Like these are truck transmissions, truck engines. You know, that's why I just love Steiger. It's, it's common truck found parts. Well, especially back in the day in like the 1980s, but yeah. So this was easy to find. We got three of these. We got one for this tractor and one for uh, the Bearcat 3 and one for the Cougar. So I just want to give you some bonus content here and uh, let's go put these shifter boots on. There we are at the Bearcat 3. Let's take a little look, see at the, uh, at the shifting boot. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. And see, yeah, see though, that's ugly. That's, that's what you want. Uh-huh, wink, wink, sure. There we are. And that's another Halloween decoration. This thing's been on there since the day it came off the factory. Wow. Disgusting. Wow. There we go. Time to put it on. Well, that's uh I guess two out of three. Let's get that cougar worked on. Here's a cougar. Don't mind us, cougar. We'll be quick. Uh, this one's not bad. It's just, you know, a couple holes. But it's always nice to have new. And the floor here is much cleaner than that Bearcat 3. Definitely gonna have to give that Bearcat 3 a nice wash up or something. Even this needs it. Oops, almost had it the wrong way. Here we go. Out with the old and in with the new. Almost done. get this all lined up and we'll put it on well guys that's three out of three on the uh shifting boots they look real nice and that's how it's supposed to be so it's good stuff right there man it's perfect that's how it should have been well with three out of three on this one's the only one that needs the screws this one had these screws which is just way too small see it, it barely has enough th enough length to get to the bottom of, of the the boot but it can't go through the carpet and, and, and match up the, the bearcat and cougar had longer uh bolts so i think these are aftermarket added on whatever the previous owners did they probably took the boot off lost the bolts and put these on there these aren't the right ones so we're gonna get new ones you know, we're gonna bolt this up, which you probably have seen because you watched the main montage clip. This is just bonus scenes, so yeah, good deal. Anyways, that's it for bonus scenes. See ya. Looks like we got a new Steiger. It's a gray Steiger. It's a little uh, kitty cat. <laughs>